Hey, then, I'm Marmazi. Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, we're at the crash site. This looks like a new landing zone for sure. And let's move. There are only nine aliens in here, but there are mutant elites. And I have no idea how many. So, I'll be careful. This is a reasonably strong squad for a small UFO crash site. But I do have a few inexperienced soldiers. So, let's move. I also have some explosives. So I'll be able to destroy cover without too many problems. On it. And Overwatch. If I get a full group of mutant elites though, this might be slightly problematic. So we'll see. There are definitely mutant elites, since I know that from the hyperwave relay. I'm on the Let's send Ariadne to scout ahead a bit. See what's going on. Okay, looks clear. Where's the UFO? I'm not sure where the UFO is, actually. Probably this way. Right, well, let's move. Maybe I'll get some meld. I don't really need more meld all that much, but... I can still make more cyber suits. I might make a level 2 cyber suit and then also a level 3 cyber suit. Right now, Alerium and Alloys are the bottleneck, not meld. I have a lot of meld. And these things use a lot of alloys and alerium. And right now I'm still busy with firestorms and EMP cannons. Right. Teddy weapon and overwatch. I will start upgrading my soldiers once I'm done with all the firestorms and EMP cannons. But right now that's more important. Okay, let's move this way, but not too much, actually. Yep. Floaters. Alright. Not too bad. These are all regular floaters. I don't see any heavy floaters. Shouldn't be a problem then. Let's see. 99%. Not bad. I could use some explosives. Also, my infantry can take a shot or two. This guy needs some experience. Would be nice to get him promoted. But he needs like a few hundred. So that's fairly unlikely. 27%. Can I get holo targeting up? Do I even have anyone with holo targeting? Oh yeah, my scout. Let's see. Does he have a low profile? No, he doesn't. He's not high enough rank. Right, he doesn't have it. I can see that. Is there any full cover around here? No, not really. What about her? This is probably not close enough to throw a grenade. Would be easier to get a kill if they had no cover. This might destroy their cover, it's unlikely. But I'll throw a grenade anyway. Okay, it did destroy cover, nice one. So that's two guaranteed kills. For this guy maybe. Hmm. He would need to get a crit. Well, let's take a shot. That's a kill. And he can't see the other floater, which is kind of annoying. Or he's too far away. That's also a possibility. That's fine. So, 62% on the one on the left. I can get a kill for Matthew. 100% chance to crit, right. So this is a guaranteed kill. Bye. Now I can try to kill one more floater with Shen. 62%. Let's try that. Okay, good. That's 8. I need 2 more. Ariadne can try to get a kill. I could just launch a grenade and get a kill that way. Or I can take a shot, but that's only 44%. Let's just use a grenade. That leaves us with the squad leader only. Not the best use of a grenade ever, but I got more than enough grenades for this mission. And Overwatch, probably. Yep, Overwatch. Jessica can move closer. Preferably much closer. Maybe even all the way here? Yeah, should be fine. Let's run all the way. The closer the better. She has 19 hit points and she's immune to critical hits, should be fine. And this guy, Overwatch, Overwatch. The floater will probably target Ariadne. 
Is he doing anything? Come on, don't be shy. No, okay, he's retreating. I wonder why. Maybe because we killed all his buddies. <laughs> okay. We'll catch him. I got hit and run on Ariadne, so... This should give me two hits. 59%. Alright, let's try that. And missed. Oh well. I got Matthew. 29%. Won't be a kill, but would be nice to do some damage. Okay, decent crit. Do I want to use run and gun? Probably no point. Although... If I run all the way here, that might be a kill. Let's do it. We're close to the zone wall, so I don't think I'll trigger any more groups. There's only really one more group and the outsiders. Okay, 65% chance to hit. This might be a kill. No. Okay. Can we do any more damage? This might not be close enough to take a shot. No, it's not. Not even remotely close. Yeah, never mind. I don't think I can kill it on this turn. Doesn't look like it. Oh well, we'll do it on the next one, not a big deal. Meanwhile, let's move. Into cover, preferably. And Shen. Any cover around here? Yep. And Overwatch. Can I actually Overwatch on anyone? <laughs> no, not really. Now I can get a kill for someone else, but he'll probably retreat. Yep. I should be able to catch him. With Chen at least. With Ariadne too. Ariadne has pretty good mobility. Now so let's try. Yep, there he is. Let's get a kill for someone else maybe. This guy? I don't think this is close enough, no. Shen could get a kill. Or Matthew could get a kill. Where is he? Somewhere in the back. Yeah, he's all the way in the back. But he can get a kill, 100%. Would be nice to move first. Alright, let's get that kill then. Bye. And let's move on. And he actually got a promotion, nice one. Okay, this will be the reload turn, I suppose. But let's keep moving. I still need to find the actual UFO. I'm not quite sure where exactly it is. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, so we're pretty close. Back in. Reload. And let's move towards it. This guy also needs to reload. What, he can't reload? Rocket. Yeah, he can. Still got more than enough grenades. But there are still some mutant elites in here. Hopefully not too many. Reload. I could try to capture Mutant Elite, because I did bring an Arc Thrower. Okay. We'll see. If I get a chance to capture Mutant Elite, I might try. Wouldn't mind more alien heavy weapons. I'll probably need them. I'll definitely need them. So, let's keep moving. Right. If there's only like one or two, I might try to capture him. Mutant Elite, that is. But if it's a full group, then probably not. That's affirmative. Unless I can kill them quickly. And then maybe keep one alive. I do have ghost grenades. So these are quite useful. I could use them to try to capture a Mutant Elite. I got two ghost grenades. Also, I have battle scanners. So might as well use them. Yeah, like this. Take a look around. There has to be a group somewhere around here. I might just kill the outsiders first. Maybe, we'll see. So, keep moving. Good copy. moving on target. Spread out a little bit. Any more reloads? Yep. Reload. Got it. Moving. And that's it. Yes, I hear that. They have to be somewhere close. 
Also, grappling hook. Just to move around a little bit faster. The grappling hook is pretty amazing for mobility, I have to say. And Matthew can move here. Still no aliens. But I don't want to trigger anything now. Because I want to have Matthew available. Let's move up a little bit, but not too much. There has to be a group very, very close. And that's my scout. Okay. Yeah, spread out a bit. Then can move up here for some high ground. Okay, Overwatch. Would be best if a patrol ran into me. But that probably won't happen. I don't think that will happen. Alright, well... Let's kill the outsiders then. But there might be a group close to the UFO. Okay, I got the outsiders. And there's a melt container inside the UFO. I might try to get that. Right, this should be an easy kill or two. I can use run and gun. To kill one of them easily. I just need to kill the other. Which should be easy enough. I don't even think I'll need explosives. Probably not. Let's see. Hello targeting will be nice. I don't want to move too close. Because there are still mutant elites somewhere around here. I don't want to trigger them yet. Do I want to throw a grenade? Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Well, let's just use a grenade then. I'll still have three more grenades left. Because I have two grenades on my engineer. And one more grenade on Ariadne. And this will be an easy kill. So, who do I want to get a kill on? I was close to a promotion. Oh yeah, this guy, right. He needs more kills. He can shoot twice, so let's do that. Oh great, he missed. Really, dude? Come on now. No way Fail. Yes, wait, that just happened. Take a shot with our Pita then. I don't want to kill that outsider, I just want to do some damage. Okay, perfect. Don't miss now. 28%? That's a kill. Just trying to get a promotion for him. And now I'll kill the other one with Ariadne. Actually... I can try to get a kill on someone else. No, I don't think so. Right, I have to use running guard because Ariadne already moved. So like this. This might trigger one more group. There has to be that mutant elite group somewhere nearby. But no. This should be a guaranteed kill easily. Probably. Yep, that's a kill. 21 critical. And overwatch. So, mutant elites now. They have to be somewhere around here. Steady weapon. Then can move up. Actually, no. It's better to not reveal any fog at this point. Oh, they are on the left side. Okay, that's fine. We'll handle it. Let's move up here then. I could throw another battle scanner. Yep, let's do that. So, I'll move here first. And then throw a battle scanner in that general direction. Let's see, over here. This might reveal something. And there's still a melt container inside the UFO. I'll get that. Nope. Can't see anything yet. Okay. Let's go get that melt container then. I can do it on the next turn, not on this one. Actually, yeah, I can do it on this turn. Nice. Alien object in sight. So, that's free melt. Not amazing, but hey, I'll take it. Heading out. And keep moving. How many aliens are there left? How many did I kill? I killed two outsiders and four floaters? I think so. So that's six aliens. That means there are three aliens left. Because I know this mission has nine. So that's potentially three mutant elites. Which shouldn't be a big problem. Right, keep moving and reload, I suppose. Right, Overwatch. Where the heck are they? They have to be close. There's something out there. Oh, here they come. One mechtoid and two mutant elites. Not too bad. 
Did we actually trigger them or what? No, we didn't. We can see them because of the battle scanner. Well, let's trigger them now then. Not much point waiting. Oh, this won't actually trigger them. Well, I'm okay with that. I can set up an overwatch or two. Or five. So this is fine. Right, this guy. I don't want to move too close now. But reasonably close. Then goes here and this guy. Down here. Yeah, I need some full cover for him. Okay, everyone will use Overwatch now. Maybe including Matthew or Steady Weapon for him will be better. And Arpita. Let's spread out a bit. And Jessica. Right, she needs to be closer. Preferably somewhere around here. Okay, Overwatch. So now they should move towards me. And I should get some reaction shots. Here they come. Yep. Got at least one reaction shot. And 10 damage. Not bad. 10 damage to the Butan Elite. It's pretty good. So do I want to try capturing them or not? Maybe. But if I do that, I need to kill the other two. I'm not going to try capturing both Butan Elites. That's a little bit too dangerous. But I could try to capture one. That's still not very safe either, especially since I don't actually have Disabling Shot. But I'll try. First, let's kill that Mectoid maybe, that would be nice. Let's see. How can I do that? I could throw a grenade, but I need to trigger that Reaction Shot first. That would be great. If I move like this, that might trigger the Reaction Shot. Yes, it did. Okay, good. I don't think I'm close enough to throw a chem grenade. Someone had a chem grenade in here. Yeah, who has a chem grenade? I'm pretty sure I brought one. Oh yeah, Arpita has chem grenades. She's almost close enough. If I move here, no, that's not going to be close enough. I think that'll be just out of range. And I don't want to leave her in partial cover, that's not such a good idea. We'll be fine without chem grenade. So I could use running gun if I want to. Or I could just move over here. Okay. Yeah, let's not use running gun yet. I'll just stay back here. Maybe use mind fray. That's not a terrible idea. 40%. Failed. Oh well. It was worth a try. So, can we kill that Mectoid? I could use a flamethrower on the mutant elites. I could launch a grenade, but I need to move closer first. I could move pretty close. Maybe I should use a flamethrower? It's tempting, isn't it? I think I'll do it, actually. They might panic as a result. I don't think I can kill that Mectoid on this turn anyway. And I have two flamethrowers. Alright, if they panic, that will make it much easier to capture them. One of them panicked. That's perfect. They both panicked, okay. That's awesome. Should be pretty easy to capture them then. I might even try to capture both now, now that they both panicked. That might actually work. But first, let's heal that Mectoid. That would be great. I don't think I can kill the Mector on this turn. I can try, but it's unlikely to happen. I'll do some damage and then kill it on the next turn, I suppose. Arpita. Yeah, not much she can do. I can still take a shot, I guess. I will move closer now because the mutant elites are panicking. Just to do some damage. Okay, 4 damage. Not amazing. Shen needs to be closer. Will I have line of sight from here? I should? No, I don't. Okay. Do I want to hit the mutant elite? Maybe, but if I crit, I'll actually kill it. I don't want that. This guy? He can hit the Mectoid. Yeah, I definitely won't kill the Mectoid on this turn. 
Especially with no heat ammo. And right, my engineer needs to be much closer because she's the one with the arc thrower. I could just dash towards this muton. That's not a bad idea, actually. I think I'll do it. Alright, let's do it. I can try to capture both. That would be great. Now, that mechtoid might target my engineer, but whatever. Shame I don't have disabling shot. Can I take a shot? I need to move. Down here, probably. I didn't have line of sight. Yeah, I can take a shot. 45% chance to crit, but even with a crit, I can't destroy it. Yeah, only 4 damage, not amazing. And Shen. Right, Shen can only shoot the Muton. I don't want to kill that Muton, so I'll just use a laser pistol instead. I need to do some damage, but not too much. Now, the Mectoid will probably shoot Ariadne. That's what I expect. Oh yeah, close combat specialist. That won't be a kill. But 5 damage. This is my best chance to capture Mutant Elites. It doesn't get much better than this. It really doesn't. Oh yeah, the Mectoid will target my engineer. But I'm fine. Alright, let's do this. First, I need to do a little bit of extra damage to that Muton. I could launch a grenade. That's actually a pretty good idea. But before I do that, okay. I'll kill the Mectoid, obviously. So this should be a kill. And it is. So bye. Now I can use a grenade to do some damage to that Mectoid. And I can do some damage to the other Mectoid. Yeah, like this. This should be pretty good. This definitely won't kill them. Hmm. It does up to 6 damage, but there's no way it will do 6 damage from this far away. To the mutant on the right. Okay, I didn't even hit the mutant on the right. Which wasn't my intention. Let's attempt a capture now. I could maybe hit it with a pistol one more time. Do I have a regular pistol or just laser pistols? Yes, I do have a regular pistol on Arpita. Let's try to do like one or two more damage. So, 79%. This won't kill it. Okay, one damage. This should be over 50% chance. 55%. Fingers crossed. Nice, he's stunned. Now I can try to capture the other one. Getting two mutant elites from this mission would be amazing. But no overwatch. Reload. Do I want to do any more damage? Probably with a regular pistol. I wouldn't want to kill it with a crit. And I think I would kill it with a crit. Only 10% chance to crit. Okay, free damage. That's enough. I'm not doing any more damage now. Reload. He's still panicking, but I need to move away with Ariadne and my assault because they have close combat specialist. So just move them out of the way. You know, just in case. Wouldn't want to kill that mutant by mistake. Alright, I got two more arc thrower uses. So two attempts. This is pretty good chance to capture him. 58% twice. No, not grenade. Please work. Okay, nice. I got two mutant elites. That's awesome. So that gives me two alien heavy weapons. That's definitely going to be useful in the future. Once I'm done with firestorms and EMP cannons. And once I get a lot more elerium. Because plasma weapons are not cheap. And we got a promotion for Matthew. So now he can get lock and load. Perfect. He needs one more promotion. So, two alien heavy weapons. 20 Nellerium, 7 Meld. And two mutant elite captives, obviously. I should get some council requests for them. Alright, well. Oh yeah, the moth is over. Argentina didn't leave the council because they are not technically at max panic. So that's nice. I think I'll make one backup satellite just in case. 
they only cost money, so... Alright, how are you training? Three more days and 19 hours for Annette's training. How are my firestorms? We should build additional uplinks as soon Six as more days. Okay. And how's the last EMP cannon? Four more days. Also, I might want to make more walker servos. Maybe one more. Okay, let's make one more. And am I actually making whatever is called the plus aim item? Oh, what? Raider. Right. Let's shoot it down. Anyway, Neural Gunling. I could use another Neural Gunling. Because I keep wanting to use them on more than one soldier per mission. I thought I was making one, but I guess not. This should be a crash site. No, we destroyed it. Okay, that's fine. So, what about that Neural Gunling? I'll just make another one now. It wasn't cheap from what I remember. Where is it? Yeah, it's not easy finding things on this list because it's not in alphabetic order or it's just partially in alphabetic order. I have no idea where it is. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Oh yeah, there it is. Right, I could use one more. 8 Alerium, 3 Alloys, 8 Meld. Yeah, okay. Let's make one then. Are there any Foundry projects I still need? Not really. I guess I can get ship repair, but I probably want to use it. Still, it's cheap, so might as well. What about the research? Can I research anything by now? No, I still need more Alerium. Right, I'm almost out of Alerium. Down to 15. Okay. Defense matrix. Gene mods for my officers are almost done. The secondary heart. Panic reduction in India. I don't think I care about panic in India. No, it's already at zero. So, overseer. Right, I'm still arming the EMP cannon, so not much point intercepting it. Gene mods are done. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, that was Annette. Right, okay. I don't need one more promotion, though. That was not the final one. Kind of weird that I got this cutscene now. But okay. Where's Annette? What rank is she now? Gunnery Sergeant, right? Oh yeah, there she is. 2000? Wow, okay. That will take a while. Well, she needs one more promotion, I believe. And I need to shoot down the Overseer, obviously. Alright, well, let's keep scanning. And maybe send someone else to Sonic training. William? Perhaps. Psy panic. He only has 55 well, which is not amazing. Do I have any better psionics? Carl? 69 well, that's better. He could use Psypanic, for sure. And scan for activity. Neural gun link is done, so now I have two neural gun links. And my last, or, well, not last year, but my EMP cannon is done. So... Is this a Firestorm? No, it's not. It's an Interceptor. Right, the Firestorms will be in Commander rank. Oh yeah, this is my last one. Okay. And I'm still waiting for one more Firestorm. That will take five more days. Keep scanning Abductor. Yeah, seven more days. I'm not going to intercept an Abductor. It will probably land. Two engineers? No. Yep, abductions. Okay. Heavy activity. Let's do this then. Who's going to be our officer? I could bring Conrad or Sebastian. Do I have any non-master sergeant officers? I don't think so. No, I don't. Okay, that's good. 
So who's going to be the officer? I might just bring Sebastian. Sure, let's bring Sebastian. That means I need a scout. That's going to be... Oh yeah, this guy. How's his experience? He needs 1000, but I want Master Sergeant on him eventually. Medic. How's Girard doing? I think he's in signing training. Yeah, he's in signing training. What's going to be our medic then? Lois? Or Aditya? Was Aditya wounded or something? I've not seen him here in a while. Well, he can join. So... We got the scout and medic covered, and now we need firepower. And a sniper. Shimizu? Or I could bring a master sergeant sniper, but he will get a promotion from this mission. Okay, let's bring him then. Who else? Assault, so Sarah. Mech Trooper. Ariadne. Or Tatiana. I think I prefer Ariadne for this one. She's getting close-ish to Master Sergeant. She still needs 600, but she'll get there. Do I want a second gunner? Maybe. Right, double tap gunner would be nice, actually. Maybe a less experienced gunner. I could bring Sen. What about Juliet? I could bring Juliet? Oh, she's literally too experienced away from a promotion, really? Okay. Well, I guess she's coming then. One more person. Infantry, probably. I could bring Annette to this mission. I guess so. Yeah, let's bring Annette. So that's the squad. Make items available. And let's see, let's start from Annette. Titan armor. Pulse rifle. Let's see, I could give her a neural gun link and a scope to maximize her aim. I still want her to become Master Sergeant eventually. She has 20 hit points, so I don't think she needs Kitean plating. I could just give her Walker servos, which is not a bad idea. Or I could give her Enhanced Beam Optics. She has 13 mobility, that's not totally terrible. Well, 12 with Enhanced Beam Optics. But I think I prefer Enhanced Beam Optics, actually. Alright. So, next up, Sarah. Titan Armor, obviously. Cutter Blaster. I should make more laser pistols or something. They aren't exactly expensive. Breaching Ammo, Impact Vest. And do I want Walker Servos? Or something else? 18 hit points is not amazing. I think I prefer chitin plating, actually. Yeah, I tend to be pretty aggressive with my assaults. So, chitin plating. Shimizu. All sniper rifle. Corsair armor, he can take the blaster. He won't need walker servos. I'll take a battle scanner. Well, I already had one down here. Hold on, does my scout have a battle scanner? Yes, he's the guy with the battle scanner ability, so I don't need battle scanners on this guy. I can give him enhanced beam optics. Cob. And... Cutting plating, I guess. 10 hit points is not very good. And aliens with squad sight are a thing, so yeah. Aditya. Titan armor. And maybe a carbine. Yep, for extra aim and a little bit of extra mobility. He will have fitted mobility. Not the best, but not awful. Okay, just checking. This looks good so far. Just checking this guy real quick. Scope, ghost grenades, and chitin plating, that's fine. So, Sebastian. I got one more titan armor, he can use it. Auto blaster. Armor piercing, and I could give him walker servos. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Scope and walker servos. 11 mobility is pretty bad. 13 is much better. Okay, I like this setup and he has a lot of hit points. 
And the Juliet. EG Thermor. Gatling Pulsar. Bipod Armor Piercing and Scope. Should get a promotion from this mission no matter what. I might actually replace the Bipod. Yeah, 12 hit points is not amazing. Do I have one more kiting plating? No, I don't. Maybe I should make one more kiting plating or something. I can give her alloy plating. Yeah, 14 hit points is better. I'll pass on the bipod. Although, the extra aim is nice. I could pass on armor piercing. Or I'll just need to be careful. Right, I'll try to be careful then. But 12 hit points is not very good at this stage of the game. So, one final look. Looks good to me. But before I launch this, let's maybe make another kiting plating. That shouldn't be too expensive, I think. Where was it? Oh, also laser pistols. Yeah, I'll just make three or four more laser pistols. Three more laser pistols should be enough. It's pretty hard to find things on this stupid list. Right, I think I'll pass for now. I could make another carbine or storm gun that requires 20 elerium per alloys. I need my elerium for research right now. Because I've not been researching anything for a while. I need to get started on that again. Anyway, kiting plating. Oh, I don't actually have enough chrysalid corpses. Okay, whatever. Well, let's launch the mission then. So, one final look. To make sure everything is fine. Yep. Everything looks fine. Let's go then. This was heavy alien activity. But that could mean pretty much anything. Oh, this map. This is a pretty small map. I don't like it too much, and aliens can get very easy high ground. Well, we'll do it. But that's going to happen in the next part. So, thanks for watching this one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like, and I'll see you next time.